Hi, it is Aikam time again. So today I got a really, really interesting questions uh, from Asia. So uh, our Wing Chun friend who practice a type of uh, uh, internal mind power type of Wing Chun messaged me asking me, since I have talked so much about the Samadhi and internal Wing Chun, or the, the, the internal art. How come there is no such showing in my view, uh, video on the uh, first contact momentum and the reality of talk? So he want to know why is it? Okay. So okay. Let's uh, start with the mind power and samadhi. If you go to any monastery, get any enlightenment Zen Patria, any of them will tell you, or all of them will tell you, Zen is ordinary. It is cutting wood or chopping wood and carrying water. Okay? It is ordinary. Well, Samadhi and Zen and mind power is not sitting in meditations in a resort saying Om. Okay? It is not that. Real Samadhi is chopping wood, carrying water. Okay? Since thousand years, it is as it is. Now, however, saying that mind power have uh, usually have uh, three general characteristics. Number one, they be able to switch the functions of their mind. For example, for us who know that there are four functions in their mind, they can switch it. And because uh, they have handling on the stability, the three states of the mind, the settle, the quiet or silence, and the peace, they can switch as they like. Okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is, they be able to notice details, maybe 10 or 100 times uh, more than usual people. When people don't notice that, they, they scan it, they screen it, they know it. Sharp, okay? The third thing is, they can learn something, maybe uh, we need to uh, take 20 hours, they take 20 minutes to learn it, okay? So that is Samadhi power. And it is not something which is, uh, you say, mind power, mind uh, over metal. No. Go to a Zen monastery, meet a real Zen guy. A guy who will be able to handle his own death. He will tell you what it is. Okay? It's ordinary stuff, everyday living. That is the Samadhi power. It's not some kind of hanky-panky or anything. So where is the Samadhi power when you have the first momentum, the first contact momentum or the tour? It's right there. Okay. Let's go watch, say, Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali. When they face square, that is Samadhi power. It is not something like, say, I have to concentrate this way, I have to do this way. No, they stay there right away the face square that's it okay and the whole world go quiet they focus but no not tense that is somebody power well can one see those power sure go check out with the mike tysons and muhammad ali that's real deal or any good MMA fighter and so forth. You see how they behave. Okay? So, let's not look at something 
out of the ordinary. Okay? Now try to make something which is uh, non exist there called mind power. We don't want to define that. We don't want to define something which is uh, or, or, or label or name something which does not exist in this world. We want to get it as pragmatic as solid so people know what it is and be able to develop it. Somebody power is that. Okay? So mind power is that. It is not the mind over matter. Oh, I can uh, using my mind uh, have some superpower with my body or make something fly without touching. No, it's not those kind of stuff. It is really sharp mind, very stable type of mind. Those are the mind power and really also uh, really uh, peaceful type of mind. When I mean peaceful, meaning that uh, it is uh, not being disrupted. Okay, outside is cannot disturb them. Okay, so that's the mind power. The second thing, internal. If we want to talk about internal, by the Chinese Kung Fu definitions, it said very clearly, externally train the sinews, the bone and the muscle, internally train, train that breathing, that breath, okay? It's simple. If this is sitting down, full body breathing, ready, that is internal. Because it does have the uh, component of the breathing. If you start to go do this, do this, or, or clamping this thing and it cannot breathe and then and you said that is the internal forget about it okay again internal is also ordinary it's not something which is out of the blue like ED have it we don't have it okay and if one do not train their breath their breathing and, and, and have this suffocating stuff and so forth how can they have this mind power uh, and, or the internal. It doesn't make sense at all. You need oxygen. Okay? There is the lower level of or the, the, the general basic of a, a internal definitions. One level above, one need to have the three flow. The fourth flow, the breathing flow and the chi flow. You got a top ready body with the potential and the kinetic ready it be able to talk be able to breathe be able to handle the force flow be able to have the chi flow that is internal and it is not something which is extraordinary it is just ordinary stuff the chi will flow yin flow up yang flow down Okay, it doesn't need any mind or anything to do anything at all. That is how ordinary it is. And the reason why I formulate this model 613 is so that we know the six core element. Once one square of check the six core element is like a when one start to, uh, uh, start a car at the beginning, the car check itself. Is the GPS ready? The fuel system ready? Tire ready? All this thing. So you go through the body, the mind, the breathing, the chi flow, the force flow, and the momentum. That is internal. If you can look into the uh, ancient uh, internal art of China, it is disregard of any art. This is the common denominator, okay? So, just square off, everything is there. And again, it is ordinary. It is not something which is not ordinary, okay? We do not want anything which is not ordinary. 
we want something which is ordinary and solid because the opponent we are facing is solid okay how are we going to face something if we are not solid and uh, we think some solutions uh, can bypass certain things if, for example it's just like the the uh, the, the, the liberal uh, the, the, the liberal regulations people in China when uh, in the early 1900 late uh, 1800 early 1900 who believe that this mind power mind over metal which can uh, 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 resist bullets well sorry in the world such type of stuff doesn't exist and we do not have to reprove the boxer librarian again okay so in the in the chinese in the china boxer album it is saying that oh yeah just if you believe on certain thing and you do this kung fu your body can anti bullets it costs more than 150,000 life and a lot of money uh wasted or uh, in the, uh, the, the 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 qing dynasty of the qing dynasty okay so internal is that internal is nothing uh, uh, extraordinary same with mind power okay and the reason why again i do not like to use the term internal because internal everybody can define their internal you can look at 10 people 10 people whether they know it or not they call it internal but internal for what so the model I developed 613.3, it tells exactly like the car, when you start a car, it check the fuel system, the tire, the GPS, everything. So when you square off, is it ready? All of this thing. That is internal. Okay. And again, is the six core element six? No, it is not six and not even one. Why? Because it's called non-dual. For example, when we walk, everything is coming together. It's not a detached. It's one. Okay. But it's not just one. If you say it's one, there's six. If you say there's six, there's one. That's why it's called non-dual. If you look at the Buddhism terminology, it's called non-dual. It's not. It's neither one or six, nor six. Okay, but everything works together. It's not detached here, detached there. If it's detached, it's just like a coin. Coin. Every coin have two faces. You cannot detach them. If you detach them, I don't know what it is. It never exists in this world. Okay. So again. We want to do something which is ordinary, not something extraordinary. And uh, we want to really clearly describe things which is, uh, exist in the world, in this world, and attainable. Cannot be just uh, speculate about it. Okay? And saying so, finally, I like to question everybody. We practice Siu Lin Tao this way. Okay. Rigid. How is this type of rigid hold on style and and uh, and, and, and really using uh, mind power stuff, which is uh, rigidly on certain thing, being being useful when, as we can see in all the MMA, everything is dynamic. Okay. How, how is this uh, a developing something to, to hold on something to be uh, uh, tunnel visions? Okay, when people talk about the, 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 the what do you call it, uh, mind power, it is a tunnel vision. They have to fully uh, tensing and focus in certain place and they are breathing because they try to uh, 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 prolong their breathing as long as possible. They become suffocated. And, the, and for sure the blood is not going to, to breathe properly. So how is that type of a training 
it's called internal mind power, be able to do it in MMA. So explain to me, why is not such type of power being ever ever used in MMA? Why? Okay. So for me, as you see this uh, 613 model, I get rid of the internal term. I get rid of the snake engine or the, the, the crane engine or whatever. If it is a torque by physics, call it a torque. If it is a force flow, which is actually the time sequence of the force vector handling, call it such. If it is a full body breathing, call it a full body breathing. If it is awareness, call it awareness. Don't call it intention. Okay? If it's energy flow, call it energy flow. If it's body joints, call it body joints. So, this is my answer for our friend in Asia who uh, asked me that questions. Okay? So, uh, this is to sharing with you all today.